You'll have to excuse the road noise. Um, I'm actually the first plot next to the uh, main road and there's a hedgerow that runs all the way down. So uh, at the beginning, at the minute, I'm just pulling my car on um, and then I have the like, bin. All this rubbish was left for, sort of when we took the plot on. So we only had half a year last year and we didn't really get as far around as brambles and nettles and all sorts growing through it. Uh, we did get the water butts in place, which is going to be a godsend come summer. Um, so this section here, um, I'll put some flower bulbs in so we can have some nice spring flowers uh, and I'm hoping to have a large cut flower section um, where the car is right now. Um, this bed, once it's all finished and been dug, is going to be where my potatoes are going to go. Um, we have a lovely plum tree um, which has got a bit out of hand and the wasps got them all last year so hopefully this year um, by trimming it out we can make sure that the air circulates and we don't have the same problem again. Uh, nearly dug this bed out, a uh, little way to go yet. So um, I think I'm going to put my legumes in this bed this year. Uh, last year I had popcorn and onions. Uh, I've managed to get some polythene down. Uh, not sure what I'm doing here yet but I've got a cold frame. It's a bit worse for wear. Sort of needs the glass cleaning up a bit and it's got a pane missing but my husband's going to do something with that. Um, again we inherited it, it was already on the plot when we took it on. Uh, this plot hadn't been touched for five years when we took it over. Uh, nice solid compost bin, been bringing me scraps down. Just start building something up there. Been pruning out these pear trees. Now last year there was terrible, um, all the fruit washing, no air had been circulating so we've been trying to cut them through um, and the crossing branches to just hopefully nurse them back to health. Um, they do need to have their uh, wash on them though because they do have the mould as you can see. So we need to get a spring wash on those. Um, I am a complete and utter novice at this so I'm going to have to learn as I go along. Um, all the way along the plot is a, a gooseberry hedgerow with a few blackcurrant bushes in. Again, completely overgrown, not been pruned in years. The cooch grass is running through and brambles are running through them. So my job for the next week or so is going to be to cut them right back, really get into them, get some air flowing through and see if we can have some good crops this year, if not next year. Um, and, you know, they do prick you up the bum when you bend over because they're so overgrown. Um, I did manage to get some garlic in. Um, I'm going to be expanding, expanding uh, this bed right out. Um, so I've got some onions and garlic already going here. Um, and then I'm going to make it, obviously, more space for the rest of my onions. Um, we do use a lot at home. Obviously, having five children, you can imagine how many I use in meals. Um, and then that'll be this part of the bed and I'm going to expand it right back out all along that fence row just here um, was wild brambles and they've gone absolutely crazy and they're actually rooted all the way through this bed so we've been digging them out this week um, and we found a thornless one as we was digging through so I've replanted that um, and hopefully it'll take and we'll have some thornless blackberries there um, here I'm going to put a, a brassica bed now my husband's assured me he's going to make me a, a bit of a cave this year because I didn't get anything planted last year because we never got sorted out and because of my back I'm limited as to what manual work I can do because um, I have a few problems with the plates in my back and um, sacrolytic dysfunction so I can only do so much at a time but I'm determined this year to actually have enough produce to see us through to next year again this is another plum tree it's, these pruning out desperately so it's on my pruning job um, as last year we only got a handful um, that were decent it was just everything was rotting because there's no airflow um, we've managed to clear half of this section as in get the polythene down so I'm hoping that by the time it comes to putting squashes in this will be a massive pumpkin patch we love our pumpkins and squashes um, I'm determined to try and grow a big one for the kids this year though absolutely determined to do that um, we've just got to get some more for this side but our main task is digging out all of these suckers where the brambles have rooted and they've come all the way through this section it's just rife with them and the only way to get rid of brambles 
is to dig them out. I mean, here's one here. I'm going to keep this one in the hedgerow. Um, but again, I'm going to prune it right back. Um, and so we've got control and it's not got control of us because I do feel like we're having a bit of a wrestle for power between this bramble bush and ourselves. Um, this is a lovely apple tree and um, we've taken quite a bit out of it because it was again really really overgrown and there was a lot of windfall and loss because you just couldn't get to get to it or it was rotting on the, the tree so um, hopefully we're getting a better shape to it now and um, lovely lovely red and green apples absolutely beautiful it was um, so it's all about this year having a real good preparation and really, really, really put in as much effort and time in as we can. Um, you know, spring's coming when you can see the rhubarb popping up. Again, this was amazing last year, fantastic. So um, I have dug out a crown and separated it out so there'll be more air for around. I've just got some more weeding to do um, and I've given it some manure. I need to give it a bit more, I think. This back section at the minute has been our dumping section. Um, this is all the trimmings we've got already from trees and shrubs. So what we're going to do um, is when we finish pruning everything, we're going to hire a chipper and we're going to chip all the um, the wood and that way we can make our paths that we need and hopefully it'll be enough to mulch down there. Um, all this piping's been left, we just need to uncover it and put it to good use. Um, like I say, this plot's not been touched for, for five years. We didn't get on much last year. So we really, really need to sort of have an action plan and take it back. My husband's brilliant. You have to excuse the road noise. He absolutely loves to do, like, making and, and doing that sort of thing. He doesn't mind strimming, but he doesn't like digging. So, unfortunately, the digging part's on my part. He's not really interested in growing vegetables, but he will help with the manual labour. It's my sort of baby, as it would. Um, so, in a nutshell... Um, that is my plot. Lots to do. Terrific amount. Oh, and my shed. My little shed. Which, um, I don't know if anybody else watches, um, Sean, Sean's allotment um, and Vivi. I absolutely love Vivi's shed and I love watching Sean's allotment. And uh, I take so much inspiration from them. So I too would like my shed to be like Vivi's new one. I would like it to be white on the inside with lovely shelves. And I haven't got a kettle up here. I haven't got anything. It looks like a man's shed at the moment. And I don't want it to be like this. I want it to be beautiful and something that I can come to. Um, I like painting and art. And we get a lot of robin visitors and things like that. So once I've got all the hard work done, I can envision myself in the summer coming down with everything growing, bringing my paints and doing a little bit of painting and relaxing whilst the children are at school. Again, that's one of my restrictions because my little boy is only at part-time nursery in the morning. I only have an hour and a half, really, when I get down to the plot in the morning um, to sort of crack on because at the minute it's not, there's not much for them to do here and it's not very safe at the moment. Um, lots of trip hazards. So it's all about making it so the whole family can come down um, and enjoy with us uh, and educating them about how food grows and putting it into good use in the kitchen. Um, so lots of work to do I'm a bit rabbly I know, I'm sorry it's my first sort of real big video I've done I do hope that you'll, you'll watch again um, and I'll keep you updated on how we get on thank you for listening